Hey, what's up YouTube? Here, I'm gonna show you how to drain your ear. So this is uh, ear damage. I got a little one right here in my left ear when it happened to roll a little intense without a headgear or anything. And this is a dried up on the old one or a uh, cauliflower ear I had two months in of BJJ. So this is what I'm working with right now. It's about three weeks old. So I think this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna drain it. It's a little, it's getting a little hard now. Here is what you guys would need to drain your ears. So first we have vinyl gloves. Make sure they fit. Actually wear a medium, not small. Then I call pad. And then a gauze pad when you bleed. You bleed a lot whenever you have a bigger ear trauma. But I have a small one so I don't really need much. Here's the here's the one that I have. There's they come in 10 package. Ask ask for um, ask at the pharmacy. They look like this. 100 U. Okay, let's start. So first things first, wash them dirty hands with soap and water. Once you finish washing your hands, dry your hands and then put them bad boy gloves on. You don't want any infection, so take every precaution you can get. As you can see, my hands are don't really fit these gloves, but I already bought it, so it is what it is. I have small hands, like for gloves, winter gloves, I would wear small, but for some reason these gloves, I would wear, wear medium. Next, so gloves are on. Next, wipe my ear, the one that I'm working with, my left ear. Work it with a call pad. Round it everywhere, clean it. I'm also gonna clean my collie bud, the small one. I got the blue ones. Wearing these really requires patience. Have to wear them often, and they start to hurt. And then I take them off, give myself a break sometimes. So those are wiped. Next, ready to do this. All right, here are the insulin needles. I made a mistake before when I punctured myself, and I forgot to take off the cap. This right here. So be careful. Take it off. Take out. The, take it off first. One, two. Okay. I go real slow, and it doesn't really hurt when it goes slow. the color right oh gosh the color is pretty light because it's been 
I had hasn't been drained for a while. That's why, it's, that's why the color is light. But this is like double. Oh my goodness. Still more. Just keep pulling until there's there's no more, like not enough to drain. I just keep pulling. Oh. It doesn't hurt. It's just. Gotta have a strong mind for this. It doesn't hurt. I promise. Can't get any more blood. Slowly pull out. Ooh. So. Ooh. That's 5, 10, 15. About 16 units of blood. A couple days ago when I drew it, it was only about 5 or 7. Now it's like twice. But as you can see, my ear is not puffed up anymore, right? I'm gonna have to go buy some more needles. Oh yeah, be careful. If you have good 20-20 vision, put this thing back, dispose of it properly, and then let me go grab another. Oh yeah, I got the gauze right here. It's ready. Wipe down. Wipe it down. Oh. But yeah, I feel relief. Now I can fully breathe. Oh. Here you go. The lifesaver. Compress. Use these collar buds to compress. You can get them um, for fifteen percent off if you use my code BJJ Ears. Or you, if you want like instructions, written instructions, why or how I came about and recommend these products. Check out my link in the description. Yeah, but they fit pretty well right here. I'm just I'm gonna leave this on all day. Try not to go to class. I'll just do light work. The more cardio, I think I was doing Muay Thai class the other night and it was intense. <laughs> but hope you enjoy it, hope you learn. I'm trying to keep my ears nice and clean. Put on some ear guards after that and we're good to go.